Good afternoon and welcome to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel for a Ford Focus RS walk around video. But before we get stuck into the walk around, if you are enjoying our content, can I recommend clicking that subscribe button and that way you'll be in tune with all of our latest content. This vehicle is a stunning example of a shadow black Ford Focus RS, featuring the 2.3 litre EcoBoost engine producing 375 PS of power. That 375 PS of power is transmitted through all four wheels through a state-of-the-art all-wheel drive system and a six-speed manual gearbox. This vehicle has been privy to some mount tune upgrades, so that includes a cat-back exhaust, mount tune discs all the way around, and mount tune suspension. A few specs of this car, so 375 PS of power, 510 newton meters of torque, and 0 to 60 in just 4.5 seconds. We have some fantastic specification on this vehicle, including the Lux Pack, which I shall cover in detail as we make ourselves around. Just thought I'd add, we've done just under 29,000 miles, but I'll get you the exact number once we're on the dash in a moment. So let's begin, like all of our videos, at the near side front bumper. And like always, I will present to you the remote central locking key. Clicking the unlock button in turn is going to wake up the daytime running lamps. The bit of the inside of the headlight that is currently flashing at you that is simply because the frequency in which my camera records at. But they give you the ultimate vis visibility to other road users no matter the lighting conditions. Even like today on the brightest of days, they're still going to be perfectly visible. So inside there she has some lovely LED headlights and just below we have front fog lights. It's a distinguished distinguish RS front bumper design in abundance of air into the upgraded high capacity high flow intercoolers just down there moving ourselves around the front bumper we are eventually going to get to these beautiful 19 inch silver sparkle alloy wheels and they are just gorgeous the tires fitted to these wheels are the michelin pilot sport fives personally my favorite tire on any road vehicle as you can see we also have the brembo brake calipers painted in a lovely nitrous blue and again, the mount tune discs just behind it. Moving ourselves up to the windscreen quickly, we have one sensor to talk about there, which is a light sensor responsible for the auto lights. So as the sun goes down and the moon comes up, your lights will come on automatically. Further north in the top of the windscreen there, that there is a rain sensor for the rain sensing wipers. Bringing you back down to the body of the vehicle, um, we go to the driver's door, so I've just lock the vehicle on the remote central locking. I'm going to take the camera to half zoom. So as part of the Lux pack, that includes keyless entry. So we have that little indent on the door handle there, but one tap unlocks the vehicle. And one tap on the door handle locks the vehicle. So please note we have power folding and heated door mirrors. So the keyless entry system will time out after about 20, 30 seconds or so. So watch out for those mirrors folding in, in a minute. The previous owner has fitted these beautiful wing guards around there. We thought they looked so lovely, we thought we'd leave them on. So part of the Lux pack, again, keyless entry and rear privacy glass. So it really aids with that really lovely shadow black design all the way around the body and black windows with the blue badging and blue brake calipers. It's a very distinguished color theme. So we're now at the offside rear and this stage of the video, I'm going to try and protect the camera from the bit of the light. This stage of the video, I get nice and high, nice and tight to the body of the vehicle and just gently rock the camera down the off side. As you can see there, the mirrors are just folded back in again. So it's a nice safety system on the keyless entry. As you can see, this is an immaculate example of a Ford Focus RS. So back round to the off side rear now, giving you a good look at that. So the technology on these Ford Focus RSs was really state of the art at the time. It includes things such as active torque vectoring, so you can break the inside wheels when you go around the corner to improve handling. And also this is fitted with manufactured active dampering technology. Again, I shall show you that once we're inside. Now at the rear of this beautiful RS, um, that includes the rear spoiler system there, look, going all the way down to the rear diffuser with those two incredible dual exhaust, active exhaust systems. You have a, a valve inside the exhaust there, which when you change drive modes will change the pitch of the exhaust. And like a Formula One car, you have a rain light 
featured in the middle. So we're just going to progress ourselves around the near side and we're going to give it that exact same treatment as we did the offside. So getting nice and tight to the body, going to gently rock the camera side to side. But again, this is an immaculate example. I'll follow it back round to the near side rear. And again, those blue calipers really do stand out and those beautiful silver sparkle wheels. Really enjoyed photographing this one. I'm a bit of a fanatic when it comes to Focus RSs and all fast cars. There we are. So that is the near side front again with a matched Pilot Sport 5 tyre on it. So that effectively is the exterior taken care of and hopefully I've remembered all the wonderful specification to go along with it. So guys, this here is a full-size spare wheel. Not messing about with this one. This is a full-size RS wheel. As you can see, we still have the stickers on the tyre there as well. So this is a Pilot Super Sport tyre. So we have the Pilot Sport 5s on there, and this is a beautiful Super Sport tyre ready to go. So give you a good look at that alloy as well, which I thought I'd just leave out because that just looks lovely in that sunshine. So full-size spare ready to go as well. So now we can have a look inside the boot. So opening up the boot, the previous owner has fitted this lovely rubber tray, rubber boot line I should say even, into the boot there. So it's gonna protect all your boot, protect all the mat, and keep everything nice and fresh. Underneath the boot liner here, this has the uprated Sony sound systems. So that includes the sub at the back there, like so which again, I have in my vehicle, and it's a fantastic sound system. And to the right-hand side, if you didn't fancy using the full-size spare, that there is a tie sealant kit and compressor with uh, the jacks and tools supplied as well to change the wheel if required. It's nice to have the option. So, where it is a, a rally sport, a high-performance vehicle, it still can be considered a perfect family vehicle. So starting at the door cards, we have a hard-wearing plastic. So if you do carry kids around and they have sticky, horrible, dirty fingers, it be nice and easy to clean all the door cards up. Following into a soft-touch synthetic leather with this beautiful blue stitching that features throughout the vehicle. Spinning the camera around now to have a look at the rear seats. It's a part leather, part cloth design. So again, we have the beautiful blue stitching and we come down into the cloth section in the lower back and the base part of the seat. Again, family vehicle, because we have an ISO fixing port on the left hand, or right hand, and on the left hand rear seat there. Please notice lovely blue pattern going down the seats as well. And the previous owner also had the rubber floor mats fitted as well. So they're just left in there, ready for you after purchase. There's one last thing to worry about. Again, this is a very, very lovely example. The previous owner, has kept this in perfect condition. So now progressing now into the driver's driver's door card again, same construction, hardware and plastic, although it splits into a synthetic leather a bit earlier on. Nice comfy armrest there, four electric window controls with window locking at the rear, electric mirror function with auto fold found just in front of it. Interior locking is found just left of the door handle. Now spinning it around for the last time to show you some beautiful Recaro RS bucket seats. You can see there's a half leather, half cloth design once again with extra support around the lower back and the base part of the seat. Very comfortable seats indeed. Down there is a rear tilt. We have a height control and forward and backwards is done on the conventional rail just in front. Now I'm just going to jump inside the vehicle. You may hear a little bit of distortion on my microphone so please just bear with me for a moment. Okay, marvellous. So to complement the keyless entry system, we have a engine start stop button. To press your foot on the clutch, click that button, and it will just start the vehicle. Although this vehicle of the previous owner has had a ghost immobiliser fitted to the vehicle. So I would show the internet the procedure, but um, I'm not because it's quite important this thing is kept private. So I'm just going to pop the camera down for two seconds whilst I go through the procedure. So if you don't mind just bearing with me for a second 
uh, but this is an incredibly secure vehicle so just bear with me as I've just popped in the sequence of buttons and now I have started the engine so again we thought we'd leave the ghost and my blazer in there because it's an incredible safety system we have a sequence we click the buttons in and that will be able to turn the engine on and again after purchase I shall teach you that sequence but I didn't really want to advertise it to the world okay so to begin the interior tour we're going to show you around the dashboard itself beginning on the left hand side is your conventional rpm gauge that counts the revolutions of the crankshaft times a thousand also known as the output power of the engine down at the bottom there we have your classic fuel gauge and coolant temperature sensor the right hand side is an analog speedo with miles per hour around the outside and kilometers an hour found in the middle in the middle section of this dashboard we have this digital driver display that I can control using the arrows on the left hand side of the steering wheel. To begin we have an instantaneous fuel consumption gauge, we can come down, we have distance to empty, even trip computers, average speeds and back to trip 2. Going left on this menu now, I'm going to take you into settings and in settings we have driver assistance and yes, this vehicle has launch control. So again, using the state-of-the-art all-wheel drive system, this thing flies off the line. 4.5 seconds to do so. So part of the driver assistance pack is your cruise, um, the adaptive cruise, excuse me, launch control. Uh, I just want to take you into settings very quickly because there is a few settings you can adjust, but down into lighting, for example, this is where you can see your rain light, ambient light there as well, and headlamp delay. Come down once more into wipers. This is where you'll see the rain sensing wiper function. Now, the party piece of the Ford Focus RS was the different drive modes. As we have a lot of active technology in this vehicle, uh, they actually make an incredible amount of difference. So we have a sport mode, we have a racetrack mode, and the most popular I think at the time was drift mode so these all alternate things such as the active torque vectoring um, so it just different modes so you get a different drive feel in each drive mode I mentioned the active dampering which is found on the left hand side indicator stalk so please note the bottom right hand side of the screen there hold it down for a short period then it changes it to sport suspension wonderful so that's a bit about the driver display in front of you I'm going to pop my chair back actually otherwise you might just see all knees okay so to the right hand side is where you'll find all of your media controls so pick up decline either side previous and next song we have a volume up and a volume down and in the middle is your voice command button this is perfect for use where you have apple carplay or android auto installed left hand side is the buttons to control the screen ahead of you and just below is the buttons for the cruise control. So as part of the Lux pack again is the cruise control and rear parking sensors. So it's a very uh, economical system. So if you are sat on a motorway, although again, this is a performance vehicle, due to us having the sixth gear that doles down the revs just incredibly. So if you're on a long run on the motorway, for example, pop your cruise control on and you'll still get some very competitive MPG. So that in total is the steering wheel uh, again it's such a beautiful steering wheel design got a blue stitching all the way around with the rs found in the middle this vehicle also has the winter pack so this button here will heat up the steering wheel so it's a lovely heated steering wheel as well and as a uh, driver cockpit goes that's a beautiful sight right so we're just going to progress now into the center reservation and work our way up so we have this nice little cubby hole here which includes a USB, A, and a 12 volt socket. This will be the perfect little cubby hole, if I can put the shelf in properly, uh, to uh, put the wire in for your phone. The wire comes out here, and you can reside it in the cup holders, and this will be a perfect place to keep it as it doesn't pinch your cable. Down here is possibly one of the best designs of a cup holder you'll ever see. Cover it up, all gone, open it. We have these two adjustable sections here, so if it's a can, two cans, one big drink, one little drink, you can pinch it all in place so your coffee's not going to go flying out in the morning. Now, pull this section back, and that is a deep fill section. If it was a 
a large can of energy drink that fits in there just lovely clamp it in at the top it's not going to fall out everywhere it's a fantastic design mcdonald's cups go in there just lovely as well or even just a bottle of water very lovely cup holder design anywho that's enough about cup holders here we have the controls for the six speed manual gearbox if you haven't driven an rs before it is the most satisfying experience going it's such a positive sensation changing through the six speed box I'm a big fan. As you can see, it's a short shift as well. It really does lay the 375 PS down, 510 newton meters of torque, and you feel every newton meter. I promise you, it's a fantastic driving experience in its Focus RS. It's probably one of the most driving cars I've ever driven, and I've driven a few now, luckily enough. Anyway, right hand side, we have the heated steering wheel, different drive modes that changes through the four selectable drive modes. This one here will turn the traction control off, and this one here will turn off the automated stop-start feature. 12 volt socket and another USB-A port. So let's just position the camera somewhere that you're not going to be drowned in sunshine. And no, I'm not complaining it's sunny, I promise you that, but it's just not very good for my video. Uh, so this vehicle has the dual zone climate control, so both sides of the cabin can be set to individual temperatures. So there's a four degree differential, um, so if you do suffer with a very cold passenger, you can keep them nice and warm whilst keeping yourself nice and cool. If that wasn't enough for them, they might require a heated bum. So you can turn on the heated seats, which is three-way adjustable. In addition to that, we have flows of vents found in the middle. We have your electronically heated windscreen found top left, rear demist and demist settings, recirculation, is found to the right hand side. Wonderful. Moving on up, we have some controls for the radio system there. So you can tune different sources, sound settings, and even turn the display off. Up here, this is a Sync 3 module. But before we talk about that, I'm just going to show you the different boost gauges quickly. Like so. Unfortunately, I might just get a reflection of my fingers. We have all temperature, turbo boost, and we have the bar there for the oil pressure as well. So lovely little track gauges which makes you really feel like you're in an rs right okay so sync module uh, it's a very nice sync module it's exactly the same as i have in my vehicle it's beautifully devised into audio found bottom left uh, we can then go into sources and we have various sources such as am fm dab cd and bluetooth audio next up is phone this is where you can pair your phone via bluetooth connectivity Navigation is found in the middle. A fantastic navigation system. I use it all the time. My vehicle never let me down. But you're not restricted to this one navigation. If you have a smartphone in your pocket, such as an Android or Apple device, connect it using a USB data cable. Then you can use Apple Maps, Google Maps, Waze, all compatible on this screen. Uh, next, I was going to just pop the vehicle into reverse. Oh, look, there's our spare wheel. Um, that wakes up the high definition reversing camera with your park pilot in the middle so as you turn the wheel that's going to navigate you into all the parking spaces nice and easily top right hand side is a proximity sensor for the rear parking sensors so this will give you an intermittent beep and increase in frequency as you get closer to the object in question pop it back into neutral so i don't forget uh, just quickly just going to settings we have all your settings tabs there swipe left you can see such thing, things such as display settings vehicle settings and we even have ambient lighting somewhere as well so thank you very much for watching this video hopefully i've covered a lot there's a lot of spec to remember in this one hopefully i've got my numbers just right and i've uh, remembered all of the goodies such a sunglasses hold look at that i wish i had that in my uh, my old focus Thanks very much for watching this video. If you did have any questions, please do give me a call 01376 550 If you like the video, like the video. And if you want to see more, click the subscribe button and I'll be speaking to you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.